Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Straight Up, aka Mr. 615, aka that nigga Silence. And I'm about to kick another piece of poetry if y'all right quick since I ain't done this. Alright. Keep the camera steady this time. Alright, this is called Wetty Bliss. The story begins with me writing my rhymes at the fountain. A young nigga trying to reach new heights like climbing a mountain. I looked up and she came into my vision. She glistened. She had a nigga wishing that I could caress each and every inch of her body. She had titties like Dolly Parton. And pardon me, but her behind was awesome. She about five four. Not to mention her dark skin complexion gave me a quick erection. But thinking with my dick could cause me to fuck up my blessing. So I'm chilling on the sex tip to further notice. But I digress. Let's get back to the story. So I approached her like, hi, how you doing? My name is Michael Burton Jr. What's yours? She said, Harmony. Well, look, Harmony, I don't mean no harm to thee. I just want to let you know how beautiful you are to me. If you ain't got a man, I got a plan. I'll take you any way you want to eat. And you can leave your purse at the house. You ain't going to need a cent. I'm a treat. Because I'm a G. Not for gangster, but for gentlemen. I must admit, your lips look sweeter than cinnamon. So she was like, I know you want my pussy and that's what you can't say. But I let her know I ain't the type to fuck on the first day. Matter of fact, I ain't trying to fuck till I find my soulmate. Harmony, please, let me be a man. Just give me a chance. Swear on a stack of bibles, I ain't trying to get in your pants. So I took her out and we found out we had a lot of chemistry. Long walks in the park, she granted me serenity. Not long after, we became exclusive. It felt good having a girl who was on some true shit. We stayed down through our trials and tribulations. From time to time, we caught static like a radio station. But I realized that I came upon my blessing. So I said, fuck it. I copped the ring and I popped the question. Harmony, will you be my wife until this life is over? And needless to say, she gleefully accepted my proposal. Planning the wedding was hectic, but somebody had to do it. I reevaluated my decision to be sure I wasn't being foolish. She looked like an angel as she approached the altar. We finally became Mr. and Mrs. Burton, because she the only woman who could ease my hurting. I thank God that I ain't got to look no more. I feel like Faith Evans because I never knew a love like this before. After the reception, we proceeded to our dwelling place, ran up to the bedroom with no time to waste. We got to kissing and licking all up and down in the bed and out the bread, but she said my dog is down when fed. <laughs> I can hear the passion in her moans and groans. I adore the taste of a milk chocolate skin tone. It's true what they say about the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Cause as soon as I bust none, I ain't chunking the deuce. I formulated my first son in her womb, and then a peaceful vibe fell over our bedroom. Harmony, I love you. I never put no other woman above you. She let me know she loved me too, so I know this love is true. I silently fell asleep underneath my dream lover. I used her breasts as pillows and her dress as a cover. Then I woke up the next morning in building 46, and I realized that my mind was merely playing tricks. My wife was out of sight and out of mind, and I gotta go to class, just look at the time. If I had a choice, I wouldn't have awakened from that dream, even though it ain't really what it seemed. It was never meant to be, so I might as well face it, cause the woman of my dreams is just that, a figment of my imagination. Thank you.